Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 436-174-19531-6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com. And uh, find the Facebook information in the description below. This is Tuesday, the 6th of July. <coughs> Did my video yesterday on um, the box of Thor's, Eternals, Tarzan's, uh, Son of Satan's, Master of Kung, or, uh, uh, Magnus Robot Fighters. Had a guy come in yesterday afternoon and bought the Thor number 154 for $100. So thank you, sir. First thing we pull out of here is the Holy Diver. He's gone too long to the Midnight Sea, or something like that. Sorry, Ronnie James. Uh, I'm sorry if I butchered your song. But holy diver, man. Ronnie James deal. Ronnie James. Looking forward to, to reading this. hope that this uh, does, uh, does Ronnie James, does him justice. Loved, love Ronnie James, man. There's more copies. Let's see what else we have in here. Some more copies, too. I bought me the hell out of some Ronnie James Dio Holy Diver books. Here we've got Epic Collection. This is Captain America, Volume 9, Dawn's Early Light. Got that in here. Giger. Giger number four. Cover B. So it's going to be lots of Giger going on. What the hell is this? This is, oh, I want to say maybe this is a one in five or ten or twenty of the new uh, Skybound, Skybound book. Skybound X. So got a variant there. We're going to have more of them. More variants. Lots of covers. Take out your bottle of uh, old turkey and get to it. But the turkeys, old, old turkey dale. Here's an old turkey, an old turkey up there. You've got the Mortal Hulk number 48. That's the A cover on that. Coming to an end, two more issues left to go. You can flip through here. Ooh, man. Uh oh, that's the second page there. We get people all mad, and upset. Man, oh man! Somebody's gonna be having bird eggs for breakfast. All right. Also, the X Men's coming out this week too, and I just saw something. Here, look at this. Go wonderfully put in the bins. This is how these are put. These are folded up and put in there that way. Can't make this stuff up, people. All right, thanks, Diamond. Uh, you know, just every once in a while, they got to prove that they're still forced to be reckoned with. Here we've got from Terry Moore, serial number five. More Giger number fours, right there. So we got Hellboy and the BPRD. This is one of two. The Secret of Chesbro House. I know a couple of people that are going to be very happy to see that. And look at this here. Wow. Snake Eyes Dead Game number five, cover A. Thought you'd never see those, right? It's been so long since that book's been out. Over a year, I think. Jenny Zero, number three. Hellions. Hellions, number 13. We've got that right there. I got uh, some people that have some books on hold, have had them on hold for about two months now. And I think Hellions is part of uh, what he has on hold. I've stopped pulling his comics. Uh, you need to come in and get your books. 
Here's War of the Bounty Hunters. Bounty Hunters number 14. That's a B cover. We've got that copy that's damaged. That's how that was put in the uh, box. So yay for me. Got lots of boxes. I've got four of these boxes this week because there's just so much. Of course, the X-Men covers and the Skybound covers. Uh, this is cover D. Um, these things are going to eat up a lot of space in there. So you got your choice. Either do the shots with the Skybound or uh, do your old uh, turkey shots with uh, X-Men 1. This is issue... What issue number is this? Ah, oh, this is another... Okay. This is cover F on Skybound. I, again, I think it might be a 1 in 20 variant. Again, I can't, I can't recall. The Worst Dudes, number 2 from Dark Horse. And speaking of Dark Horse, actually not speaking of Dark Horse, but does anybody out there remember Hart D. Fisher's Boneyard Press? Boneyard Press, you know, Bill the Bull, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, Jeffrey Dahmer versus Jesus Christ, uh, uh, Lum, Jeff, uh, Rush Limbaugh versus Jeffrey Dahmer, Marvel can uh, kill Image, kill Marvel. Uh, Hart has a uh, has a Kickstarter uh, for uh, Bill the Bull. So go on Kickstarter and look it up. Or if you go to the shop's uh, Facebook page, again, it's in the description below. I've got some links to it. Uh, Hart Fisher Boneyard Press is coming back with a vengeance. Here is cover D. And uh, I think these are going to be connecting uh, covers uh, on Extreme Carnage, Agent Anti-Venom, Space Bastards. Aren't they all? They're all Space Bastards, right? Space Bastards number seven, giant size Manny issue, uh, Bisley, I think. Is this the last issue of this series? Oh, it's got uh, it's got some drinks in there that you can put together. So it's got a drink guide. So anybody out there, you know, give this give uh, give these drinks a try if you're uh, if you're so into the the uh, the sweet sweet alcoholic beverages. And let me know, which one of these have you tried? And what do you think? Is it worth the price of admission? Let's see here. Space Bastards. Is this, the, this might be the end of the current series. But Space Bastards number 7. Yeah, there we go. Glub, glub. Drink it up. Drink it up. I think that was a kiss song, was it? No, it was lick it up. Stray Dogs number two. Third printing. Got the uh, what, Evil Dead takeoff cover there. So we've got a few copies of that. Here is... What cover is this? Cover B. The Fall of the Ultra Mega. And this is the Skybound X. So we've got a whole lot of Skybound Xing going on. To have another copy, we will have some single copies of these stray dogs going out. Hellboy the BPRD, this is the cover B on that Hellboy. So we've got the A and the B. Runaways number 37. Here we've got the New Day, Power of Positivity. This is from Boom Studios. This is cover A, the New Day. Of course, they're in the WWF. I say that. I will call it the WWF. But that's cover A on that. Life is Strange. This is cover E. New Life is Strange series. Hellions. This is a variant copy. You get to see all the different Psylocks on there. All for different looks. And you start looking and say, yeah, I remember that. I remember that too. Holy crap. 
lots of Psylocke's there. So it's uh, Marvel, uh, and then issue four of Carnage, Black, White, and Blood comes out next week. The Dynamite has now got onto it with Red Sonja, Black, White, and Red. So they, they're jumping on the bandwagon as well. And here's another one. Lots of lots of second printings and third printings and additional printing comics this week. Noctera number two, fourth printing. So if you missed them the first time around, here you go. And here's the first of the different X-Men covers. So one in ten design variants. I only ordered a couple of those. Baby Teeth number 19. And we've got a whole lot of destroyed comics going on here. That those are damaged. So X-Force 21 variant covers destroyed. Nice. This is uh, this is the cover A on this extreme alpha destroyed. Now I should have more in the boxes, but doesn't guarantee that those may not be not destroyed. So may comment in on my videos about. Damage Comics told me it didn't happen very often. I guess I'm lying. That's another one of those uh, Skybound books. Variant covers there. These must be the... These are the Bronze Xenoscope Retailer Variants. We will have a couple of those going out and be available. Here is the Stormbreakers X-Men cover. Got Psylocke, or excuse me, you got Cyclops, you got Rogue, and you've got X-23 on the on the front there. So that's two covers now for X-Men. And here's another Red Sonia. This one was, I didn't say, this was a cover C. This is a cover B. Beast of Burden number four. Cover B. These are cover D's on Skybound X. Giger number four, cover D. And we're going to have some more damaged comics, maybe. There's more of those Giger's. Thor and Loki, Double Trouble, number four, cover A. I don't think there's any cover Bs this time around. There might be. I don't think that there is, though. Sorry about that. Knocked over the camera. <laughs> if you're watching, watching, probably like, what the hell? thought it was an earthquake or something. This is cover A on Children of the Atom number five. Here is the one in 25. Damn, this is so cool. I don't want to give it up. I want to keep this for myself. But that would be terrible. That'd be terrible if I kept that for myself. Look at this thing. Art Adams, sort of a Ultraman is taking on a, a giant like creature of the Black Lagoon monster. God, yes. I want a copy of this. I don't want to give it to you, but I but I have to. Damn. Damn. Damn it. Here we got the cover B on Betty Page. Curse of the Banshee number two. Yowza. Buffy the Vampire Slayer number 27. There's a whole lot more of those Extreme Carnage Alpha cover A's. Not destroyed. Not damaged. Well, there's a few of them. There's a few underneath there that are that are damaged. So 
So we got some right there. As you can see the, the damage, get it in the lights. There, you can see it just right. I'm going to pause the camera and grab our next box. Okay, next box. Oh, this packing material is a little flat. Somebody huffed all the uh, all the air out of it already. Probably did it uh, while they were having their, their crystal meth light. Pull these books out of here. Greatly in messed up order. At least there's an Art Adams cover on the Trials of Ultraman number 4. That's the cover A. So getting a little bit of uh, Arthur Adams with that. Giger. There's cover C's on that Giger. So we've had, we've had B, C, and D. There's a Peach Momoko Hulk cover on the Immortal Hulk number 48. Incentive cover on Red Sonja Black, White, and Red number one. Stranger Things and Dungeons and Dragons trade. I know a Mr. Rob's going to be happy for that. The thing from another, just the thing. This is Stray Dogs number one, fourth printing. Man Goat and the Bunny Man, cover A, part three. More of those Giger four. Cover C's. Got more Ultramans. Here is X-Men 1 Peach Momoko Sunfire cover. That is really nice. Nice to see uh, Peach doing uh, Sunfire. Character, uh, part of her homeland. Got several of those. Here they are again. This is a connecting variant. Cover B for WWF's The New Day. Power of pos Positivity. I wish they, they should have came with. Got pancake stacks there. I want some pancakes now. I am hungry for pancakes, man. Hungry for pancakes. Looks like I do have a, an extra copy of the Stranger Thing Dungeons & Dragons to go out on the stands. Masters of the Universe from Dark Horse. Oh, there's a, another copy of that. The New Day. So we're going to have to put that with the other ones. Master of the Universe Revelation. This is the cover A on this. Here's cover is this. Cover A of Skybound X, number one. I think this book comes out weekly. All right. We're going to have to look on the other side because there's only one copy of that in this side. And believe you me, I ordered more than one copy. Oh, my God. I'm just going to show you. Look how those are in there. Beautiful. Just beautiful. These things, ladies and gentlemen, don't attempt this at home. These books are packed by professionals. People, I'm sure, that are making at least $15 an hour and earning every bit of it, but they should be paid $30 an hour because you go and you go and don't get this this type of work just anywhere. You can't just go out on the street and just hire people that you need to go through years of training to be able to correctly pack a box full of comical books. Right. So we was talking about Yoda earlier. Here is Yoda on Bounty Hunters number 14, the Lucas film 50th anniversary cover. 
yay, yay, yay. Black Caravan. Boy, I don't really remember ordering these, but I must have. Tales in Technicolor Season 1. Here is the Rob Liefeld. I don't know how they must, how they got him to do work for him. I thought he was done with Marvel. I thought he was pissed off at him and was done with him. But the Deadpool 30th Anniversary X-Men cover there. So, glub glub, people. That thing ain't going to drink itself. Inkblot number 10 from Image. And look, here's the rest of my Immortal Hulk 48 Peach Momoko covers. Two different boxes that these are getting. Again, please, don't attempt. These things are packed by professionals. They know what they're doing. Again, should be... Should be... They, they, they should get vacation time like somebody from Myers. Should get like 40, hour, 40 weeks of vacation and 400 personal days a year like, uh, like somebody I know gets. Cyclops. This is the... Uh, one of the uh, trading card, I think trading card covers on X-Men 1. Got Magic number 4. The A cover on Magic number 4 from Boom Studios. Firepower number 13. American Chavez, made in the USA. What a uh, great character this is. Uh, cover B on American Chavez. And here's one I know you're clamoring for because everybody knows that we need a World War She-Hulk. This is part one because, you know, World War Hulk with, uh, you know, the Bruce Banner Hulk just wasn't good enough. And then you had, uh, had Amadeus had his World War. Well, of course, she needs to have her World War also because it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair and balanced. Fairly unbalanced. That's what uh, I think. That's what some of these books are becoming. Fairly unbalanced. But I'm giving it a read through. Hopefully, it's good. You know, you hope in one hand, and uh, you know, you eat a bag of peanuts in the other. Okay, this is Bounty Hunters number 14. This is the A cover. This is uh, this is what you've been waiting for. Look at that cover there. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Walt Simonson. Let's see. And we got another couple more copies of that Skybound X number one. Rick Grimes, Walking Dead 2000. They got lightsabers in the year 2000. I must have missed that. Where's my lightsaber at? And we've got two more copies of World War she -Hulk. Again, I cannot stress enough, people. Please, do not, do not attempt. You need to pack boxes full of comic books. Contact Diamond. They'll, they'll let you use their workers. That these people are so professional... We should, we should have a national holiday for it. Tell, uh, tell, uh, I'm a little bit sleepy right now, Joe, that uh, we need, uh, we need uh, holidays for them. The Good Asian, number three, cover B. Here's more X-Men 1 covers. More of them. I think this might be 1 in 25 variants on these. We've got the Amazing Spider-Man Annual. This is the uh, Destinies uh, cover. This is the round limb variant okay. on that. Here's the land that time forgot, number three, Edgar Rice Burroughs. Here is the A cover on American Chavez, number four. Okay. Here's Star Trek, Year 5, number 22. Captain America, number 30. Alex Ross cover. Again, great Alex Ross cover, as they always are. Great Alex Ross covers. 
Here's a uh, cover D on Red Sonja Black, White, and Red, the cosplay cover. Let's see what else is in this box. More, more War of the Bounty Hunters. I can dig the rest of these out. More of the regular covers. Commanders in Crisis number 10. Cover A from Image. Betty Page, Cry of the Banshee. Cover A. Got some copies set aside for people. Here's the Scotty Young X Men cover on X Men 1. Had somebody that was a big Scotty Young fan, but uh, he's fallen off the face of the earth. Hope everything is good for him. Post Americana number six. Here's more Scotty Young. See, that Scotty Young guy. Uh, maybe I need to go up to uh, go get me burgers up uh, near Ypsilanti. Extreme Carnage Alpha. This is the, the Scotty Young cover on that. So maybe you should have been doing a drink every time you saw that. G.I. Joe number two yearbook right there. Here is the Xenoscope silver level for retailers. And maybe next time I'll have a gold level. I'm trying to really get the gold. I'm trying to go for the gold, man. Got to jump through a little bit more hoops. I'm trying to certainly jump through those hoops. Here we go. This is limited to 40 copies. Signed by Dan Jurgens. This is number 34. Infinite Frontier number zero. And we will have that available for sale. Walking Dead Deluxe. What issue is this? This is issue 18. This is uh, the D cover. Nope. This is the C cover on that. This is the A cover on Red Sonja. Black, White, and Blood, number one. Here is the Magic, the Hidden Planeswalker variant, number four. Power Rangers, number eight, the blank cover. The David Finch cover on Walking Dead Deluxe, number 18. From Aftershock, no, from Image. And is this a wraparound? It is. Ordinary Gods number one. This is A. On that. Got just a few more comics in this box here. Star Wars Adventure number six. Cover B. Noctura. Issue five. Cover C. The Amazing Spider-Man, number 70. This will be the 1 in 10 variant <coughs> on that. If you guys do like your, these videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you've not, please smash that bell for notifications. Please like, please comment, please share. And I hope everybody has a great new Comics Wednesday tomorrow. Next video coming up soon.